USA. Did it, did it, did born in the USA. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Now, last time we went ahead and pretty much repaired, prepared for war. Let's see. Island of Cuba should be annexed. Okay, so that's the one where we get the manifest to take over Cuba, which is what I want to do. Except, Spain is probably going to, sooner or later, ally up with someone very powerful. We could get an alliance with France. Let's see, who else can we get an alliance with? I mean, an alliance with the UK would also be good if they would accept it. Uh, one thing that I did neglect a bit in the last, up, uh, the last episode. Okay, they're my ally now. Right? Yes. Something that I did neglect to make in my last episode. Hang on, let me see if I can make more troops. I can. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, what do we have here? Are we losing money? Okay, well that might be a, a problem. Merkin Navy. Okay, I would, we were preparing a war justification. Who was that with? With Nicaragua. Okay. We got six infamy for that? Yes. Are we winning against the Mexicans? No, we are not! I'm beginning to think it's just worthwhile. Oh, they, they, they removed their troops? Did they? That's weird. Why'd they remove their troops? Okay, then. They're giving me a free... Okay. They're just gonna give me free land. Yay! Thank you, guys. I'll put, uh, some dragoons up here in... Uh, Idaho, yes. We are eventually gonna buy Alaska from the Russian Empire. That is going to be a worthwhile investment. How much is our militancy? Our militancy is almost always going to go up, but we can do a whistle stop tour every time it gets really high, and that'll bring it back down. So hopefully there won't be any big rebellions and nobody should take our capital. I want to go to war with the, these Mexicans, goddammit. I don't want to form an alliance with you bastards. I want to go to war with you. Tax the rich a bit more since we're losing a bit of money. Okay, now we can make Nicaragua a puppet. A pu puppet? Puppet. Let's see. Load up our army. Oh boy, we really can't carry that much. I need to make a few more clippers. Okay, there we go. That, that's good. 22 clippers is actually a lot. I probably don't need that much. See, allied with us. Can I put my shit in my land? Okay, let me ask them for military access. Okay. So I need to unload all my troops over here. All this, this whole army should be enough to take that over. If I need more, I can transport more over. But that should be enough to take over Nicaragua. Now, how much will we get from this? Oh, only five? We already have romanticism. We can get the next one in a year. We might do that instead. Because we're going to need to... We need to go to war with somebody else. And since we're a democracy, I think we have the freedom of the press. Yes, we do. That's going to make CB speed go down a ton. See, as if we were playing as, like, a super conservative, super secretive government, like Russia, or something like that, their CB speeds are increased dramatically because they don't have a free press or anything. So they can get uh, CBs on uncivilized na nations 
in about 50 days. So it'll take us a bit to do that if we want it to. I'm also interested in protecting Liberia over here. And I want to keep them in my sphere. I want to keep them as my satellite. And I kind of want to move over here and take over some of these native tribes eventually. And that's going to also help me keep Af um, France from getting too strong in Africa. Because they get unbelievably strong in Africa. And that generates a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of income for them. A ton of trading goods as well. A ton of raw materials, food, stuff like that. It just produces a ton of that. Although there's not really a lot of people there, it, 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 it it's worth having colonies there. And since France is pretty much going to get all this right here, and Portugal and Britain will probably get some of this, and they'll get a little bit of pieces over here, Britain will. They won't get any more of that. If you can't tell already, I've got a bit of a... My nose is stuffed up if you can't. Outlaw slavery. I want consciousness. By the way, I want consciousness. Because that's going to give me a few Casas bellies. And I want Casas bellies. Oh, believe me. I want Casas bellies. I could put a few more cav over there, could I? Put these two cav over there. I think I have enough space for that. Or I only have space for one more. Put the Dragoon. So we want increased consciousness, so that way we can enact those decisions. Okay. Went ahead and... Oh, okay. The, Mexico's probably gonna get that. I'm gonna let him have it. I'm gonna take it from him anyways, so... Or maybe should I start? Should I try it? Heck, I'm gonna do it. It has three regions. Let's do it. Screw you, Mexicans. We're taking another colony from you. Yes, more clippers are being made. Just what I need. I think a few of them were made up here. Yeah, those aren't going to be any good. Oh, no. A cholera epidemic. Alright, we'll do this one. Population growth will slow down a lot if we get that upper one. Alright, let's get these boys on the boat. Okay, I definitely don't want to lose prestige, but we have a we have a lot of these things removing prestige on us. Oh, we gained a little bit of prestige as well. All right, let's go ahead and declare war on these Nicaraguans. Does South America want to help? Or Central America? Yes, they do. They have honored their military commitment. So this is going to go by even quicker. Uh, I don't have the money to do that, although 50,000. We'll do it. We'll do it. We're going to need to raise taxes on the middle class. Oh, God. Can we even pay for this war? We can't even pay for this war, can we? Okay, so we'll leave Curasaurs and Dragoons. They will... They will, uh, where did my other army go? They will, uh, take over the land faster. Okay, what about these guys? You go over there. Okie dokie. They're only one province, are they? Yes. Follow them. Get my troops over here. Uh, put the cab over there. That's cab. Oh, that's one territory there. Okay then. Move into Rivas. Take it over. Lake Nicaragua. Wait, Nicaragua has its own lake. 
didn't even know that. Is that real? Is that a real thing? Lake Nicaragua. <laughs> That's unbelievably OP of a name. I don't think we're gonna get Oklahoma from them. Okay, let's see. We need to go ahead and look up administrative. I turned up the music a little bit louder. Hope it helps. I need to get administrative. Where is it out here? Administrative. Okay. Wow. That's bad. I want New York to be at 100. We need to start encouraging bureaucrats. We need all these to be bright green. Uh, we'll do the north for just now because the south is going to break away and be a bunch of dickbags later on, so. Alright, let's bring these boys back home. We have more clippers. How many more clippers? Oh, yes, I have a lovely line of clippers. Nail clippers, of course. Hopefully they don't have a navy. Ooh, even more clipper ships. Okay. We might be able to take the whole army with this one. Take home the uh, whole army. <laughs> We're going to get put in a little bit of debt. Simply because when you go to war, the assimilation rate changes. I think in this mod, the assimilation rate changes. And you have to pay a lot more for your troops. Pretty sure that's what happens in this mod. How much do we need? 85. Lazy natives need to learn to adapt. As the American election begins, the people are too keenly aware that the nation exists in a state of war. Debates in Washington rage over the state of war. Though, the overwhelming feeling is that now more than ever, citizens should be supporting the American government. Still, there are some who believe that now is the perfect time for change. Um, I think if we stay at war, we'll get more prestige. Uh, for now, we want pro-military. Later on, we're going to want to change to an anti-military because that will get rid of militancy. And there's going to be enough people living in America for us to be on an uh, anti-military basis. And we'll still have a pretty sizable army. I mean, that's what you can do with Russia as well. Uh, full citizenship. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like... Very open door policy. That's new in this mod. The open door policy, which was, um, they wanted the uh, Chinese to trade with them. And they're like, all the Europeans need to get the fuck out of China because it's ours. The open door immigrant policy. New cultural barriers. Wave of immigration to the, into the new world. Oh, it's not the Chinese open door. I thought they had a Chinese open door one. I thought they... Was there? Was there? There was. There was. I thought there was a Chinese open door policy. Apparently, there's not. National conference. Okay, don't want to do that. Do we? We don't have a draft either, so we want pro military. We probably even want to go for jingoism if that pops up. Are we? I want to go ahead and put them in my sphere. Are, are they already not? They're not. Put them in my sphere right now. Let's see if we can't get Costa Rica as well. Huh. Add to sphere. We'll add him to our sphere. Because it'll cost a lot of money if we do the other one. Or it'll cost us a lot of infamy if we don't do the other one. Well, Nicaragua's military is completely gone. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to leave these guys, some of these guys down here. And I need another cavalry regiment. Yes, those guys. And the rest of you boys can head on home.
Okay, so we've got a full-fledged navy now. And we're going to want this to blockade all of the Confederate ports. So if we get this whole thing blockaded, we can enact the Anaconda Plan. That's also going to majorly, majorly drain the Confederate money supply. Why are we losing so much money? It's because our bureaucracy is horrible right now. Lower that. Yeah, so getting that Casas Belly on Mexico is my number one priority right now. But we're also going to work on getting spheres around here. We can actually do this the peaceful way as well. Oh, yeah, I'm already working on Haiti. Forgot. Am I working? Who else am I working on? Anybody else? Brazil. Uh, Colombia, also I want in my sphere. Colombia being in my sphere is a very, very good thing. Will they form an alliance with me? Yes, they will. Uh, we're going to go ahead and root for state capitalism. That's going to get a lot of factories built for us. Uh, let's see. Yes, because if we get them in our sphere, we can build the Panama Canal. And I want the Panama Canal up as soon as possible. The Panama Canal is really, really essential. Especially if you have a huge naval force built up on this side over here. They're not going to be able to do anything if you don't have the Panama Canal. So you need that. I mean, they're going to have to go all the way under here. It's going to take them like a year or two just to get over to Europe. So we definitely want that. Yeah, Mexico's going to beat me here. It's not even worth... It's not even worth trying to battle them over, really. Let's go to our administrative. Hey, let's work on some areas that need it. Let's see, what's the most population dense place? Philly. We'll do Philly. It's at 60 right now. Or 50. New York's out of 50. It's always out of 50. Uh, uh, we'll do this one. We'll get five machine parts and 10% more separatists. We want to secure uh, the United States of Central America. At least I want to. If they break up into little states, depending on that. Because if we eventually add them to our sphere. Uh, if we add them to our sphere, I probably shouldn't be doing all these things to get me militancy. Yeah, I'm going to choose the things that won't give me militancy anymore. But yeah, if they stay as the USCA and we go to war with them. It's going to get all that area. Now, if they rebel and break up into little countries, it's going to be a lot more of a pain-in-the-ass job. So, yeah. I also have the idea to do a Russian Let's Play as well as doing this Let's Play. Let's see. Are there any things that aren't going to get me? Okay, the capitalists are going to get consciousness. I don't want that. Artisans. No. Artisans also encourage... Um, Industry. All artisans. Alright, we'll do protect protectionism. <laughs> What's the biggest... Let's look at some of our charts. Well, let me click it. Okay, moralism is the biggest thing right now. Let's see. Okay, we'll do the middle one. <laughs> Ongoing elections. That's going to happen a ton. Especially as a democracy. And that's going to add a ton of consciousness and militancy. Which is why I fucking hate democracies in pop demand. If we can roll back into a communist or fascist state, that would be amazing. That would actually be a very interesting playthrough. Being a communist state as America. I usually keep them as a democracy through the whole game. That would be very interesting to play as. Let's see. Yeah, screw the free trade guys again. <laughs> yes, we're actually losing militancy. And we're getting Shogunate Japan in our sphere. Um, once they turn into Imperial Japan and they have the uh, Boshin War. 
Uh, they will if the Imperials win, which they almost always do because they have better tech. Oh, what is this? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Jingoism. Okay. No doubt we want... Full on pro military status. We want everybody rooting for our boys at the front. Every single person needs to root for the boys at the front. I can lower this. I don't know why it's so high. Oh, uh, let's see. Residency. Okay, that one's the least. Okay, so we can put administration all the way up again. We want it high in the beginning because. Bureaucrats affect our tax efficiency. If our tax efficiency is really low, which is the problem that Russia has, it's not going to be good. It's really bad if it's low. You don't get anything out of your taxation. So you want it at 100%, no less. Yeah, and since we have a free press, CB speed is going to instantly be decreased almost every single time we try to justify a war. Which is why once we beat back Mexico, we're only going to take either Sonora or Chihuahua. Or Chihuahua. Chihuahua? Chihuahua. Caesar Malone. Caesar Malone. Yes, Caesar Malone. So I'll probably take Chihuahua from them. Either make them a puppet or sphere them completely. Because Mexico, later on in the game, actually becomes a pretty powerful military force. So. Oh, Ecuador and Peru are at war. Oh, let's see. Oh, Pops of New Orleans that are not Yankees will gain militancy. Uh, but the capitalists, okay. Oh, uh, no, we're getting a little bit of militancy. That's a problem. Uh, quarantine it. Okay, put administration all the way up. We want that to raise. Also, all these people who are getting their life needs partly fulfilled, that's because of crime. That is largely, largely, largely because of crime. Oh, I could put that down to 65. We want to milk the poor for as long as I can. Okay. Oh, we can research realism. Might want to do that. 10,000. Let's do it. Uh, usually I don't put text into Navy. But I think I'm going to do it this game around. And the reason being is since we're in America. Ooh. Oh my god. That was nasty. Uh, since we're in America, we want to go over to Europe. We want to establish colonies in Africa. And to do all this stuff, we're going to need a humongous and powerful navy. We need an absolutely powerful navy. If we fought a uh, fall a little bit behind on these army things like if safer for per se we don't get machine guns and we only have full action rifles until 1900 i'll be happy with that if we can get a good navy in i mean we're absolutely gonna need it if we're gonna be establishing colonies over here and we're probably gonna have to take over hawaii too i think they're if we get enough consciousness we'll get the uh thingy thoggy so we need 75,000 and we can have a lavish expedition. That'll give us 27 prestige. So let's actually try to build up to that once we get our loans paid. Actually, what? Fuck the poor. Tax them up more. They're getting their life needs, so I'm going to freaking tax them. Uh, let's lower the taxes on the rich. Ah, eh, you guys can pay 20%. You're going to pay your way, dickwads. Oh, we have a lot of tariffs. That's why. Put those back down. Tariffs are going to be very bad, especially when we're trying to start up industry. Later on, we can go ahead and milk our industry with tariffs, but we're not going to want to do that right now. And I got to cast a spelling against Costa Rica. I almost forgot. 
Oh, let's see. Shogunat Japan. Okay. We're working out all those spheres. Oh, they're allied with Guatemala. Okay. Guatemala broke away. Oh, no. The USCA is gone. Crap. Uh, just Honduras. Honduras. Do you want... Okay. Very unlikely. Well, you better fuck it. Okay. Fuck you, then. Douchebags. Good. Okay, Costa Rica doesn't have a military, so I'm going to go ahead and in, in here. And this will give us enough to go ahead and... This will give us enough prestige to get the Casas Bellies on Mexico. And we can go ahead and invade them. Later on, yeah, Mexico does become a hugely powerful uh, military force. We can lower this a little bit. I mean, I don't need to pay for all this crap lower that down when you're going to war with small nations like these you really don't need that up all the way to the knights always to the knights if we give the capitalists consciousness it'll uh it's better than giving it to you know the poor people because there's more poor people than there are capitalists so it'll keep uh rebellions down I, don't, I was playing against Russia, and I took over the whole Middle East, and that put me half a million dollars in debt, and a hundred thousand of that, which is about what, which is one fifth, was uh, from Peru. And I'm like, I don't even know how they got all that money. <laughs> but uh, we want liberals first of all to get the base on population. That'll help me per se if I want to make the country communist or anarcho liberal. Uh, we can put that up based on population, and that will help a ton. That'll help us get commies into the upper house. Uh, all the things that we want into the upper house. Okay, we need to move this army down here. Okay, you guys. We need an army all the way up there. Can I get an army up there? Okay, so, I'm going to also build forts. Yeah, this whole northeastern area needs to have forts and naval bases. Once again, a necessity. Okay, all of our loans are paid off. We'll get the 75000 and we'll lighten these taxes on the poor. Actually, we probably don't even need that much. Yeah, a lot of countries in the pop demand mod start out in this having no draft and super liberal. Like, uh, super liberal, like, reforms and stuff. And they're anti-military, stuff like that. I think it's fixed in the HOD version of the game. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, oh slaves. Okay, so everybody who's not a slave is going to gain consciousness in the South. Or, I mean, Pennsylvania. Okay, this is the law. I'm going to leave my troops in Central America to just ensure nothing happens here. Hold on, my dog wants to get in. Be right back. I just checked my time. We are almost out. We'll probably have enough, though. Yes, okay. Manifest Destiny. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Fuck you, Mexico. Manifest Destiny, bitch! We're gonna... Now, this is the part in history where America's like, Ah, oh, yeah, we're Americans, and uh, we take shit. So, fuck you, Mexico. Uh, I need taxes on the poor all the way up. Raise that all the way up. Uh, I'll take the prestige. We need to lower administration back to about a 55. Lower education down to about a 45. Up it for the middle class. Fully tax those guys. Up it for the... Because we're going to be going to war. 
and it's gonna double very quickly and I'm mighty oh yeah crap I can't use a draft let's see how's everybody doing fine okay let's see I we might be able to keep this up for a little bit Put the military spending up a bit and let's go hey guess what fuck you Mexico War of Unification. We're going to take this all in one foul sloop. Sloop? Why do I keep saying sloop? Swoop. Can we call our allies? Yes, we can. I'll call my allies. Maybe France will actually help me. Colombia. Fuck you, Colombia. Why don't you help me? Why don't you help me? Douchebags! Well, you're going to be a part of my sphere later anyways, so... Screw you all. Uh, let's get my cab in here. Uh, I'm going to put my bigger armies in the front, protecting my smaller armies. Let's get these guys up here. Oh no, we're losing prestige. All right, get everybody in here. We might be putting in a little bit of debt from this war. I assume we are. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Uh, Navy. This is where my Navy comes in hand. Uh, I'll balance it. Put that there. Put the other IP over there. Okay, then we're going to need to split it up one more time. And we're blocking everything coming off of this east side. I can't get their west side. I don't have a strong enough mil uh, navy built up over here. And we need to increase. We need to also do the... Uh, I cannot talk today. We also need to do the diplomacy game with Britain. Uh, we need to be friendly with them. Because when the CSA forms, they will try to enlist the help of the British. Although we should be able to steamroll over Canada. Uh, Canada. I apologize for this because I am I'm not feeling the best today. But I didn't have anything recorded. I really wanted to play some more Victoria 2. I saw how much you guys liked it. I was really surprised. Oh, do they even have... Papa's not asleep. 5% more consumption. Yeah, this is all stuff building up to the... Oh. Guatemala's at war with Mexico. What are they trying to do? Are they trying to annex them? What's going on over there? Oh, yeah, they're trying to annex them. What, what was the point of taking that little territory right there? Did you have cores on it? Oh, they had cores on it. That's probably why. Okay, let's see. More cab. Uh, goons. How much are cab? Okay, cab are way cheaper. Get me some cab. Oh no, rebel factions. Yeah, the Jacobin rebels are basically going to be a problem throughout the whole game. And anarcho liberals are going to be a problem throughout the whole game. Especially in the pop demand mod, they changed it up a lot, so they are a bit of a pain in the ass, so. Fuck these Mexicans. Kill those Mexicans over there, Richard. Go on, Amala, we can have an alliance. We can have an alliance. Putting my stronger armies in the front. Leaving my cab in the back to go ahead and take all this crap. Actually, I can have this army head straight for Mexico City. Who the heck are these guys? Yucatan! Yucatan has been liberated! Would you want to help me fight Mexico? You can take some land from them! I'm not sure if they're going to want to help me, but if they will, I will certainly take it. 
Spiky, what are you doing over there? He's, he's rubbing his head into the pillow. He's rubbing his head into the pillow. No, they're gonna annex it. Go, 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 quickly, quickly. Oh, you fucking dirty Mexicans. Get out of here. Okay, let me get some peoples in here. Add war goal. Get Texas. I don't. I don't actually uh, expect France to do anything here. Let's put these guys up. Oh boy, am I gonna win that? I don't think so. Yep, I lost. No, they're gonna go on my ships. I don't want them to go on my ships. Four. Let's also go to the bottom. Actually, you guys, you guys get up back up there. Mexico is gonna try to re-annex that or retake over that territory there. So I'll move my guys up and then have these guys move in, take that back over, and then attack the Mexican. Let's get these guys to the front and then start attacking these Mexicans. Get these guys over here. Actually, get these guys in Salt Lake City. Utah, right? Utah, yes, it is. I know my state's American, goddammit. Oh, is that my army? Yeah, that was my... They stopped my army from going to New Mexico. Or, I mean, uh, Mexico City. Now, let me see. I don't know, because when I added peace terms before, it would go up to 100, and then it would go beyond that, so you couldn't get them to make peace with you, and you couldn't annex it in one foul sloop. Why do I keep saying sloop? I mean to say swoop, but I say swoop anyways. Oh, we're actually going to need... Oh, no, 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 my army's losing. Damn it. Let's see. These guys can move over here. Fuck you, Mexicans. Get out of my territory. Haiti! We can influence Haiti. Increase opinion. Alright, I think that's all I have time for this episode. But next episode, we will steal land from Mexico. Yay! Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, please check those in the annotation above. If you want to see more videos that I've done, please leave a like, a comment, a rate. Wait, no, there's not rating anymore. A like, a comment, and a subscribe. And follow me on Facebook if you want me to get my videos instantly updated to your Facebook feed. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, this is Matt from Studio. Studios. Signing out. Bye-bye!